How Cannabis Can Help Alzheimer's Patients Remember the tearjerker romance movie, The Notebook? It tells the love story of Noah and Allie in long flashbacks. The couple is old, and Allie suffers from Alzheimer's disease. So Noah reads their life story to her in an attempt to bring her memories back. The process of memorizing is critical to human life, as we collect experiences in everything we do, and we use them in our daily life as an imitation game. Unfortunately, a large number of people suffer from memory diseases, such as Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer is the most common type of dementia and has no cure so far. Aggravating continuously until death. The disease causes the victim to lose memories and gradually prevents him or her from performing daily activities without help. Around 5 million Americans are suffering from it, and it kills about one out of three seniors, which makes it the sixth leading cause of death. One of the key factors in Alzheimer's disease is the existence of beta amyloid proteins in the patient. Though there are a good number of traditional medicines, such as Dunpezil and Tacrin, Researchers have shown that cannabis can outperform all of them at preventing or delaying the onset of Alzheimer's and slow the disease's progression. The psychoactive compound in cannabis, tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, slows beta amyloid production and thereby the disease itself when applied in the right dose. A report published in Molecular Pharmaceutics in 2006 theorized that cannabinoids might be shedding the amyloid plaque from affected neurons. It concluded Compared to currently approved drugs prescribed for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease, THC is a considerably superior inhibitor of amyloid beta aggression. This finding was supported by 2013, 2014, and 2016 study gradually conducted the Ross Camp Institute, University of Florida, and the Salk Institute. A 2006 study revealed that THC stimulated appetite and reduced nighttime agitation providing relief for Alzheimer's patients. Another study from the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease reported that cannabis extract does reduce the negative symptoms of Alzheimer, including anxiety, depression, aggression, insomnia, hallucinations. Based on the research has done so far, it seems clear that both THC and CBD exerts positive effects on Alzheimer's patients. Finally, Alzheimer is a qualifying illness for a medical cannabis license in California state, and patients can restrain the development of harmful beta amyloid proteins in their body using medical cannabis. If you or someone who needs a medical cannabis recommendation for Alzheimer's disease, visit OnlineMedicalCard.com. It is a telemedicine service started by our esteemed doctors to ease your life and give you quick medical recommendations. Once you have received your medical card, you can buy your cannabis from any licensed dispensary. Once approved, you will get your medical cannabis card through an email and its signed hard copy within one to three business days via post. You can reach us anytime as we work 24 seven. Have any queries, do write to us in the comments section and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.